So guys, here's uh, again the tachometer. I'm gonna show you and explain without a vehicle. So first of all, when you open your tachometer, and it looks like this. So it uh, potential meter reading would be set for a four-stroke engine. So you should take the reading what it comes accurately for a two-stroke. It comes around 2,500 RPM. So it should be divided by two is thousand, thousand two fifty RPM. So by connecting these three three wires, ninety positive and signal wires, you should start your vehicle and it shows thousand two thousand five hundred RPM. So this is a potential meter. You should set it. You should turn it clockwise direction and it you should turn into clockwise direction and it should be up to the end. When you start your vehicle, it shows zero. So, after starting your when your vehicle is running, you should adjust your potential meter to thousand two fifty RPM. So, after setting this to thousand two fifty RPM, your vehicle is ready to your tachometer is ready to work it on a two stroke engine. And so, guys, I have recently uploaded a video of installing a tachometer to Yamaha RX hundred. So as this is a 4 stroke tachometer, um, if you ask me questions about how to install this on a 2 stroke, it's a simple way just ad adjusting the potential meter in it. So I'm going to show you how to install this 4 stroke, four stroke tachometer in this 2 stroke. So this is available at uh, Amazon. So I have got another tachometer which is same related to it. But this has 13,000 and uh, it is 16,000 RPM. So this could be open. Actually, this is a company seal tachometer which cannot be opened. So what I have did is I just carried this top and opened it. And by removing these two screws, these two screws in it, in it, you can easily remove the inset tachometer. So it's not coming. So okay, I'll show. Just I have already removed it. Tire. So by opening this tachometer. So here it is. So this is the tachometer which I bought for an extra. So this is the potential meter which you need to buy. I just excuse me. So this is the potential meter which you, you need to adjust for a two-stroke tachometer. I strongly suggest you not to buy this tachometer because this mentioned it has 16,000 RPM, but it's actually not. It has only 13,000 RPM is the max. So it cannot exceed more than 13,000, it won't show you uh, about 13,000 RPM. So here it is. So the same tachometer is this. But the design looks different. Okay. So now I'll show you how to adjust the tachometer by using this potentiometer. Uh, this tachometer is uh, for I kept for use showing alone but uh, this is not working due to some problems I think inside is some spring problem so I have replaced it by the this tachometer okay I'll show you how to adjust the potentiometer on in this tachometer by removing and starting my bike so this is the MI RX center two stroke cylinder cylinder 19cc bike I have connected my signal wire in up here and this is the positive wire. So positive and negative wire selected by making it ground in here. So I think I need to remove the stackometer. Okay. So on up here I have removed my tachometer. Sorry for my bad English. So what I have done is to adjust to make a easy adjust of potentiometer. I just cut out my cut my tachometer because it's not stainless steel as they mentioned in the Amazon. It is a stainless steel, but it is actually not. And up here, I remove I remove this tape. So I made a easy adjustment for making this potential meter in control because it may change because so this is a potential meter so 
this is potential middle volume I'm passing EOS okay then now I need to think that I need to start my bike set my rpm back to four stroke so it could show the double reading as 1000 2500 rpm so here it is so everyone asked the tachometer starts working by showing 2500 rpm since this, since this is a wrong reading of this so you have to start your vehicle and adjust the potentiometer by rotating it uh, anti-clockwise which the reading is getting higher so you should rotate it in anti-clockwise direction so here I made it so the reading is below 1 so again you need to adjust it so here is the reading The reading is too loose, low, so again I have to adjust my potentiometer. Sorry, since I have one, one hand on my one hand, I have my mobile, so tough to adjust. Adjusting it to so 2500 rpm should be divided by 2 and uh, it should be must, must be set to 1200 in something around 1000. So I kept it at 1000. So here you get the accurate reading. So a little bit of adjustment should be needed. So this adjustment should be done by always keeping your vehicle on so, so that time you will be able to adjust the correct and accurate reading in it. So again back in here I readjusted and fixed the tachometer and I'm gonna check with it.